Tussle over T.B. Joshua's estate depends as evicted ministers declared innocence. The leadership Tussle rocking the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Squan, after the death of founder and general overseer, Prophet Timitokwe Balogun Joshua is far from being over. According to New Telegraph investigation, it was gathered that some of the ministers under investigation for various offences have decided to open up and have declared their innocence. Pastor T.B. Joshua died on June 5 and was buried inside the church premises on July 9. Those who spoke to our correspondent noted that there were no issues until the death of the late man of God. T.B. Joshua, specifically one of the ministers who preferred anonymity, said, Yes, prayer mountain with fully armed policemen as if we were criminals. <laughs> It was like a dream, a real shock, because there were no incidents apart from the verbal instruction that we should leave. Out of the 20 people, only four were in the accounts department. How can we be accused of fraud when we were never in charge of financial issues? In the entire church, all signatories to accounts, our late daddy was the sole signatory of accounts and all monies goes into the church vat. Pastor Joshua took care of us because many of us have been with him for over 25 years and we have traveled abroad for evangelism. We are now to be subjected to police harassment and economic and financial crime commission EFCC threats, intimidation and fragments on our human rights we have left the church but they should not tarnish our names after our investigation it was confirmed that late pastor tb joshua was sole signatory to the account of squan and now it is his wife miss evelyn joshua and the daughter promise joshua who are signatories to the squan account mm -hmm. It will be recorded that a letter signed by efcc lagos state zona commander Ahmed Ghali said 20 disciples are being investigated for allegedly siphoning funds and breaking of the church vat. Those under Pope are Obasa Damilola Tinumbu, uh, Tinuola Oba, Obasa Folake, Mo, Mosun Ade Loju, Yakubu Abeni, Omoito, Om, Omoye Ade Bola Olamide, Morenike, Boso, Racine, uh, Eugene, Rad Radimea, Cindy, Elizabeth, with Jaja, Fanny, Emma, Alfred, Angela, Mary, Ban Brands, and Graham, Nadine. Others are Tom, Christopher, Catherine, and Fa, Eric, Miguel, Olainka, Deborah, Egbejobi, Mary. Marianne Uchechi, Ibe, David, Omojevbe, Omo Joseph, Tom Truth, and Polo Sandova Allison. The church has officially named the wife of the late TB Joshua, Evelyn, as the new leader. In a statement on its verified Facebook page, Kwan said all church activities would be under the guidance of God and the leadership of Miss Evelyn. Further checks reveal that the person, the personal accounts of the minister under probe were opened by the church at Echo Bank under one account officer name with Eld, and the minister urged that it is easy to evaluate the accounts to detect fraudulent issues. Another minister said, Our accounts are private, but they are open to the church because an Echo staff was called by the late man of God to open the accounts for us all. The issue of money should not be overemphasized because for 32 years, Pastor Joshua was the sole signatory. We just want to exit in peace without all the hassles of police brutality and EFCC trust. The ministers, however, added that they were never on salaries with the late Pastor T.B. Joshua but on allowance based on designated assignments hmm. oh 
oh goodness i don't know why these people are so so many problems and are trying so hard to tarnish the name of synagogue church of all nation that man has built that church with his blood and sweat if is it not strange for you people that as big as synagogue church of all nation is synagogue does not have any branches anywhere it is just that one church for you people to know that that man has a sole reason for doing that so why is it that there is so much crisis uh, in in the issue of finance this finance that is beginning to get very very embarrassing well keep going down and keep going up and down laying to press you never mentioned that at midnight you guys broke the church vats where the prophet kept the money for the needy and made away with the money on Ghana must go backs. You may lie to the press and general public, but you can never lie to God. Prophet Chibi Joshua pay you guys salary on weekly basics. Liar. Hmm. Only time we tell. Hmm. Well, how about the millions found found in your account? Where did they come from? Ha story too much you know be smart you know hmm. well because the man of god is dead you people feel the spirit is dead i pity all of you hmm. well they should continue fighting themselves over money this money that issue but it's really really becoming embarrassing because chibi joshua really built that church with a sweat i don't know why these people are trying so much to tarnish the name of synagogue church of all nation for no reason at all well they should continue doing what they're doing if they feel it's right they should continue i mean it's bad only god almighty will judge so if they think what they are doing is right they should continue god is watching all of them just imagine well it was said that they broke to the church vat and took all the money over there in Ghana Mosque. they said all those money was being kept there by the pastor um i mean the general overseer um, tb joshua himself that that money is always used for the needy in the church at least we all used to watch their program even if we're not members of tb joshua's church at least we used to see how he usually helped the needy so they said they broke into the church uh, um, locker and they took away all the money with the Ghana must go and also EFCC made investigation and also found some huge amounts of money in their accounts so who are they deceiving with all this story they're bringing now? Hmm. Well, time will tell and God is watching. Everything is open before God Almighty. And if they think that because the man of God is dead, that they can do whatever it is that they want to do to the church and to the church funds without anything happening to them, they should know that God Almighty is watching them and the spirits of the dead will never allow them to rest because the man really worked hard to build that church well you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening